stream so. is on live. Zero wins, oh. ten losses. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I um deck? save it for um, the all, show. Um, all all of my oh, decks. Oh, save for the show. Stream so. is on live. Hey, I played some Zero Warlock wins, this oh. week. Like two um, games I or did, something. I did. Too. I, I tried did not. I tried everything. I I played the other Warlock. The other warlock. Yeah. You don't play the one that's four letters and starts with an M. He played Pork, the other white mate. <laughs> yes. I I played Morlock. May Mage Lock, I guess. Yeah. The other the other sorceress being. Um It's kind of the same. It just it, it takes I was, way it uh, save it for the show. I got yeah, save it for the show. Because I got oh it's it's this week's been crazy. <clears throat> Okay. Okay, one last time. Battle.net. Oh, you know, oh wait, you know, I wasn't supposed to open Hearthstone. There's a wager mm -hmm. out there on who's going to get it first between the three of us. I yeah. voted for Fastidious. I voted for <laughs> Ariamun. I didn't vote. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> I think everybody's voting for me out of pity. Uh oh, Maybe. it may Maybe. be too late now. Do you get it? No. Ah, uh, how do you know if you got it? You go to your Battle.net account, and go to your preferences or your um, account yeah. settings, and it'll show in your game accounts. And it'll show there first what I'm hearing before you'll get the email. Oh, you get the email first? No, you get this first. You'll see it here first. Emails are delayed because it just takes so long for it. Go out. So you just go into Overwatch and it'll tell you to download it. No, you go. Well, it'll show up in your client then at that point. But this is where you can tell if you've got it. This. What's this? That preference. So page. okay, uh, Espo. Yeah. If you go to Battle.net and you do account settings, okay, then it will show list the games that you have there. Like. Thank you. That's where it will appear. How clear could I be? You're kind of mixing up your words. You you were, and my authenticator is uh, hold on, I got it on lockdown mode. I got eight thousand text messages. I can download right. the Lost Vikings even if I don't own it. Is yeah. Right? Ooh, I can yep. play it. Is it on your list? Well, I just went to well, cli you... download clients under games and codes. Yeah, it's oh, free. Okay. And it, there's classic games, Black Thorn, Lost Vikings, and Rock, rock and Roll Racing. All right, so I have World of Warcraft. I have two World of Warcraft accounts. I don't know how that happened. I do too. Um, Diablo 3. Hearthstone, Here's the Storm, StarCraft 2, StarCraft 2 Legacy of the Void, uh, Battle.net app, and then Warcraft 3 Reign of Chaos, Warcraft 3 Frozen Throne. Is that right? If there's no Overwatch, it's right. <laughs> is, that, is, that how to, is that how that works? Mm -hmm. Now, I wonder how many people we're going to get with the uh, Hearthstone stream going. Did you yeah, uh, get yeah. to watch any of it, Espo? Did, well, I better hold that for the show. Or do we yeah, want to talk about on, details on the show, like the actual battle between... No, we don't talk about... We don't do any spoilers on our show. We're too casual for that. Okay, well, did you, did you see the life coach battle? Yeah. Yeah. That was amazing. Yeah, he's, he's playing again. <clears throat> I mean, <Nope>. what? <laughs> Spoiler. <laughs> Uh, that's how casual we are. There we go. 
I watched um, it. Hey, help me out with hints and tips. That's the only thing I didn't put in my show notes today. What was it last week? Um, well, that's about Warlock. Hints and tips for Warlock. Okay, let me do. Well, one, use your hero power. Don't neglect it. it I know it seems hard. Sh- seems like it's bad to do that. But it can be beneficial. Just don't overdo it. What else go. is good for Warlocks? Um, well, my hint and tip from last week is perfect for Warlock. The order order of operations. Overdo it. Now, on my little recommendation stuff, you'll notice towards the bottom I don't have any recommendations. Mm-hmm. Um, go feel free to add in there. I just I ran out of gas. So, yeah, I, I just kind of was like, yes or no, I don't know. Wow. Tom isn't there. Hit rank two today. Nice. Nice. <clears throat> and he I wanted me to play him. He's just going to beat me up. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to beat you up. <laughs> Oh, E, not A, N, A. Oh, there's a tavern brawl. Which one is it? We'll talk about that. Savor of the show. <laughs> oh, it's a rerun? We'll talk about it. Well, there's a story to it, so... That's right. There is, there's, there's quite a story to it. I'll talk... That's why... Do you see what I put? <laughs> no, I didn't. Go read it. Spiders? Spiders? <laughs> yep. <laughs> There's yep. a question mark for yep. a reason. Yep. Hey, fake, fake Espo's here. Yeah, yeah. Yo, Espo, Winter Casual Thursdays being held now. This is Casual uh, ca- Thursday. <laughs> this is very, very Casual Thursday. Notice we're all um, black today. What's the deal? I need... <laughs> That's funny. I need... Hey, look this at that. I got, my, I got my reverse Flash shirt on. I got my Blizzard shirt on. I can't... Dude, Mine is Rainforest Cafe. <laughs> Food? <laughs> Anybody? I do. Uh, oh, I've I've been to the Rainforest Cafe. Those places are cool. I've actually never eaten there. They, they keep refusing to take me. I don't know and why. Big Mac. There's actually one here now, or not now, but there is one here in Dallas. Well, it's in Grapevine actually. <sighs> nice, Tom. Nobody uh, expects snakes. Wow. I had that snakes. too. I had I had a guy think that it was explosive and he attacked my minions and it ended up being snakes when he had lethal. Yeah, yeah. It happens. Bluff. Talk to Life Coach about that. He's he's all about some bluffing. So I was watching the Hearthstone Championship today. <gasps> Don't talk about it. I'm not recording it. But okay. I was just going to say that people kept conceding. Yes. And, yeah, right. And I'm knew. like, dude, like, it's not, they don't have lethal this turn. It'll take them, like, a few turns to kill them, but you're probably going to lose, yeah. But, like, one person had a shredder on the board, and I'm like, that shredder could drop anything. You don't just, you have, and you can bluff it and stuff. And so, I'm, I don't like to see people concede right away. It's illegal. In, like, in like three states, I think it's illegal. Oh, I, just, I just got the text message saying conceding is illegal. Should be. Hey, Daz, did you know that the Spanish Inquisition actually 
gave you 30 days notice that they were going to come visit? I spoke. So that statement, yeah. no one expects the Spanish Inquisition, is actually incorrect. They expected them. Hey. Yeah, they did. And tip, bluffing. Yep, bluffing oh, tip. Oh, yeah, there we go. There we go. There you go, random fact of the day. <clears throat> All right. Okay. Just hint and tip. Don't text while you're trying to do a podcast. You get you get caught up in conversations. All right, hints and tips. Unless you're what was the hint, what, multitasking. What was I'm not. What was that hint and tip, Ariana? As you can tell right now. Bluffing. Or to blade. To blade. <laughs> nice, dude. Good one. Ariana doesn't know anything about that. I do too. I was raised on it. Nice. You must have good parents. Yes, I do. All right. Oops, I probably should have done this first. Dude, Trey Prince Gallywix is awesome. I've only played him once. Dude, you got to play him at it was least an arena. one more time. At least one more time. I think it was Arena or it was I got him out of a sh uh, one of the... Oh, we're supposed to be doing a podcast at 8 o'clock. Yeah, we are. Ready to go? Yeah. I'm ready to hit record. Let's do it. I'm just killing spiders. <laughs> <clears throat> you, got, you got the sniffles, dude? No, I have typical allergies. So we okay. don't have any music? No, no music. Okay. That's a, again? Again. 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 Throws me ah. off. I'll work on that next week. Okay. Before, gotcha. before the show. Well before. Okay. Um, I'm going to have to re uninstall, reinstall some stuff and get it working. Whoa, let me just remember it. Let Ooh, me, I uh, got the beast from Plug my spider. power in for my computer. <laughs> oh, that's a good idea. Wow. Be a bad thing for it to run out of power right in the middle of the show, especially since it's recording. That would be bad. Daz, you're right, man. We should hit record. Probably would be a good idea. Okay, there we go. That should be better. Now, I'm going to hit record. Are you ready? Mm-hmm. Gary <laughs> Oman has the wall. Uh, I've, got, I've got a rock. Yep. <laughs> I'm a crossbow, too. Yeah. Which I haven't, I haven't used like yet this season. hunting pumpkins. Not, not yet well, this season. I'm going to be moving no, no, locations saying, soon because I'm going back to Oregon. This, it's... Pointing up towards the pumpkin, so you're hunting pumpkins. That, that pumpkin is actually um, from Hallows and the uh, Hallows and Warcraft TCG um, season. We uh, we had a special tournament during Hallows End, and uh, I won. Got the play mat to prove it, and that's <laughs> actually the sinister squashling. Yep. Yes, Mr. Squashling. Yes. Yeah. Lots of, lots of play mats. Speaking of which, mm -hmm. I got a mail I got I got like six on my desk right now. One, two, three, four. I got nine on my desk right now. I got them stacked up. <laughs> well hook me up, man. I'll four or five. Get you some I got nine. Nine playmats on my nice. desk. Dude. You got one. Yeah, but... <laughs> I have an address that I'm supposed to He's be He's going to be sending me one so I can have one at work. Do you have a Paladin right. one? The Paladin, or you, it was a, right? Yeah, that was, it was Paladin. Can I see I what gotta, it was? Can I see it? Yeah, I, I got to look through them and see. I don't know oh, if okay. I have Paladin. I told him I had to have one that was family, uh, work friendly. Yeah, I, you know what I should? Oh man, I should have had my um. Wait, when's Brewfest? That's next month, right? October. Is Brewfest already over? I forget. 
<coughs> because I got the Whirlpool Tinger from Brewfest too. I got because I won that tournament. Brewfest September to October, September twentieth, October sixth, and and, and and I didn't win these because I was doing the tournaments. <laughs> I won them <laughs> legit. It was legit. It was legit. <laughs> <laughs> Are we ready, ready to start, start the show? Yes, we are. We are ready. So here we ready go. I'm hitting record. Get ready for ready pilot. For action. Ready for action. Hitting record now. Well, I will be starting it back over here because somebody's clicking. Sorry. Are you done playing? No, but I'll mute myself. Okay, here we go. Welcome to Legend of the Innkeeper. I'm Vasidius. I'm Arianwin. And I am Espo. Espo, Arianwin. Hey. Yo. We're here. Hey, this is the Greetings. week the week before BlizzCon. I am very excited for BlizzCon. I am too. And you know, unfortunately, all the streaming that's going on right now is making it even worse for me. <laughs> Because I am like watching it way more than I should and have been, been really enjoying it. And it is uh, driving me nuts because I can't wait. So, yeah. Well, I actually, I, I found out that Twitch wasn't blocked at work. So I started watching it. <laughs> <laughs> and because uh, sometimes kids' classes don't show up because they got field trips or they're doing something in their classroom. And, you know, art takes a, takes a side, you know. And um, although I get upset because I want to see my kids, I liked it when Twitch wasn't blocked, but it seems like I was watching it too much because then they blocked it. <laughs> well, it's nice when you actually control that and can actually not worry about blocking it because, or even yeah. unblock it if you need to, like I can, because I have control of the firewall. So, and multiple screens so that I can have <laughs> screen up with the thing going at the time and it's great, you know, so... Anyways, this week we are going to talk about Warlock. Warlock, yeah. Warlock, Warlock. I actually played a little bit of Warlock. Yay! I can also say this is the last class that we're going to cover right before BlizzCon, because it is the last class that we need to cover. So it works out perfectly. Yeah, I think, I think we timed that. Perfectly, because I was when we first started doing this, we uh we dropped the Paladin episode before TGT was released, mm -hmm. and I was like, oh man, we should have waited a week. But actually, it ended up working out perfect because now we have this episode. Then next week will be right. It it'll be right. But it'll be basically on BlizzCon, right? Because yeah, the next morning is isn't BlizzCon. the announcement for Hearthstone on Friday. Yeah, Friday morning. Yeah, which is so we can, the day before, so, not the day after. Yeah. Well, you know, next week's episode will be will be uh, BlizzCon hype. So we will what we'll do next week. Um, Predictions. Giving you it, giving you guys a heads up. We're gonna predict In fact. I got an idea. Everything everything that's gonna happen, and then you guys can email us like crazy, iTunes review us like crazy, saying you had no idea what you were talking about. You were totally wrong. How about this we'll week? The next week. How about this week, between now and next week, email us in your ideas, what you think is going to happen, and we'll pull those together and talk about them also next week too. Idea? Maybe? Sounds good to me. Go with that one. Okay. I like it. Well, it sounds good to me. Then let's just move into what we got news-wise, because obviously this week we do have BlizzCon to talk about. That's one big item. Um, actually, first of all, what did y'all do this week before I jumped the gun? Ariane, well, you start because you seem to have had some good experiences. Yeah, so mainly I've been watching Twitch, uh, watching a lot of Heroes of the Storm and Hearthstone, and... Uh, just, I got to watch some of those competitions, and I'm just getting really excited about BlizzCon. I didn't actually play very, very much Hearthstone this week, though I did play a lot of the Tavern Brawl last week um, before that ended. But yeah, so I haven't actually played too much, though. 
Well, did you play any Warlock? You said you did, right? I played one or two games. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, that's actually pretty good. That's more than I did. Um, <laughs> Espo, do you want to go first? Or should I, since I just said that? Yeah, go ahead, dude. Go okay. Ahead. Well, I did not play any Warlock this week other than maybe randomly because, yeah, I don't, I don't think I did. I've been playing Mage. Lots of Mage this week. I've been playing with... Um, Mostly the deck I've been messing with is one that I call the um, Spellbender uh, Effigy deck. And I was having such a blast with that. Actually, let me take the back. I did play with that a couple of times, but then I went and switched over to a Hunter deck. And went back, you know, we were playing uh, Fain Death Hunter the week before. This week I went back to my TGT Face Mage. I Face Hunter. Face, TGT face mate. That's right. Man. Nice. So I've been playing a lot of face hunter and I was rank 15, 14 in that range and playing it got bouncing back and forth, back and forth. The next thing you know, I'm sitting at 18. Yeah. I think I, think I actually talked to you that day. I was like, what yeah. happened? Dude? What happened? Yeah, it was horrible. <laughs> well, I kind of got, a little frustrated with that, so Ariaman had mentioned to me in passing, "Hey, you should play the uh, uh, Casino Mage." Casino Mage again. And I was like, "Oh yeah, that's right." Let me pull I think, Casino Mage out. I think I passed you on the ladder. You did. Like, I was I eighteen. She you was in ranks. I wasn't even <laughs> playing, and he's going backwards. Oh, <laughs> uh, that was that's horrible. Awesome. It was a horrible week. But then uh, I started playing Casino Mage, and yesterday. At lunch, I had a major run and went from 18 to 12. Wow. <laughs> oh, man. Look at that. With the one-armed bandit mage. With the one-armed bandit mage. That's right. <laughs> and it was insane. And I've been sitting at 12, 13, right in that range ever since, trying to get back. No, I was at 13 today. So trying to get back down to 12. But my lo- I think for the season 12 or 11 is for where I'm at season-wise. I think yeah, that was that was my question, and then I have another question for you, and it it pertains to this week's class. Give me numbers. Oh, oh, oh! Like give I me said, numbers. I didn't play. Yeah, you got to give me a number play. though. Those, uh, we 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 <laughs> don't remember. We but don't I remember. Didn't play. That's okay. Okay, okay so you give me your at, stuff while I'm pulling it up. Yeah, while you're looking that up, um, I'll tell you about my week. So. For some strange reason, this month I decide I'm gonna make a push and I'm gonna get um, I'm gonna get as high as I can. So I think it was like October fourth. I was at um, rank seven. Like four days into the season, I'm at you rank went down seven. to six, and I was like, "Oh my gosh, this is awesome!" So the whole next week, like I'm pushing, 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 and uh, I, I went from like rank nine to rank seven. And then back up to like 11 and then back down to rank six. And then this past week, um, I've been just falling between six and eight, six and eight. Um, and running a lot of Paladin. I'm trying to get my golden Paladin. I think I'm at uh, 219 wins. So, and prior to this month, I want to say I was like at 50 some. So having a lot of fun with that, running all kinds of Paladin decks. Um, I finally decided to try um, Murloc Knight, and he is fun, dude. You get old Merc guy getting on the bandwagon. You get two Murloc Knights sometimes. Oh, my goodness. Lots of fun. Um, and, of course, I played a little bit of Warlock this week with my Wilfred Fizzlebang Inspire deck, and uh, had some fun with that. Rez and I brawled. In that last week's brawl, which was the Inspire brawl, where mm-hmm. all the hero powers were crazy. Man, I wish we would have recorded our one match. Holy smokes. I want to say it was uh, Priest versus um, priest versus Mage, maybe? I, I can't remember, but oh my goodness. It was insane. Like, he had Caldera Drake, and um, I had Maiden of the Lake. And then he ended up getting Muckless Champion with a, with a board full of dudes. And he was just inspiring like crazy. Because, you know, with that, with that brawl, you could hero power at turn 10. 
with you had made in the lake, you could hear a power 10 times. It was just, so he, bananas were going everywhere and uh, it was insane. Like it was just nuts. We had, we had a blast, Rez and I. I want to say we played four brawls in a row and it was like 1130 at night and we were both, you know, I, like I, I have to wake up at four and Rez is like, dude, we got to go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so I hung out with Rez quite a bit this week, um, played a little bit of Warlock, not too much. Um, and, uh, definitely played a lot of Paladin and Hunter trying to get, I want to get to rank five. I made it to six and five stars and I was at my, I was at my final boss to rank five. And, um, the deck, I'd use Hearthstone deck tracker and, um, I was facing a shaman. I was 12 and one versus shaman. Mm. And I was like, I got this. I got, this is, this is going to be cake. I'm 12 and one. So I'm um, halfway through the match, and uh, I'm like, man, I'm, I'm, I'm winning by a landslide. And I'm like, this is, this is so cool. So we're going, going, going. And then all of a sudden, he drops Twilight Drake. Or is it Twilight Drake, the plus one draw card? Plus one spell power draw card? Oh, Azor Drake. Azor Drake. Azor Drake, yeah. So he drops Azor Drake, and I'm like, ah, I'm so far ahead, I'm just going to go face. So I went face. Next turn. Drops Malagos. Oh. Well, earlier, earlier he had dropped Emperor T, so he made a lot of cards cheaper. Uh oh, dude, he drops Malagos and hits me for twenty-four. Ouch! Like one of his spells did eleven, wow. another spell did um like nine, and then of course the the Zordrake hits me in the face. I was like, where where does Malagos Shaman come into this popular ladder <laughs> deck? Wow. That, uh, and I was, because I'm thinking, I got this guy. What could he possibly drop that would kill me next turn? Because I, I think I, I think I had lethal next turn, so I didn't. I went face instead of killing. Oh, yeah, off. absolutely. I think, I think I had a shredder or something like that, you know. So I had a shredder, went face, knew that next turn I had him. Um, I, I could have easily killed his Zord Drake, and he wouldn't have had all that damage, but. But why I mean, would I mean, you do who, that when you had lethal next turn? Yeah, I mean, it was crazy. Like, I was like, the only way he could win is if he draws Malagos and then plays all these crazy, you know, single target, you know. Really? No, I didn't think that. Malagos. <laughs> Seriously. And some, I think some, I had a couple people spectating me. And uh, I was like, did you see that? Like, this is, this is insane. I just, yeah, just craziness. Malagos Shaman, watch out. <laughs> it's the new thing. I guess so. But I dropped all the way to rank seven after that. I just, I had to, I guess it put the kibosh on me or something. <laughs> That's great. It's like uh. bad news. But yeah, that was, that was my week. I had, a, I had a pretty good week. And of course, you know, teaching and then uh, selling, hunting and camping stuff and doing that kind of stuff. So, yep, yep. Yeah. Well, I did pull it up and... I am at 444. Four, four, four. Wow, dude, you're getting close, man. Getting there. You my will do it. My mage is at 233 now. And my hunter is at 374. Which, last, between last week and the beginning of this week, I went from 307 to 374. So I'll so, tell you how many games I played with my Fane Death Hunter Mage. Uh, hunter so you're going to... You you're do you you don't have a golden hero yet, right? Nope. So you're gonna basically have like three golden heroes in the same month. <laughs> nah, I don't think so. But I think you could do it. I think you. Could if do I it. push hard, I can definitely get get the warlock done, and then hunter would be close behind. Yeah. So I gotta get moving. I gotta get moving. It's gonna yeah. be. Uh, I don't think you have to worry about that. It's going to be Paladin, and then Priest is next. I want to get, I want to get Golden Priest. Well, cool. Good stuff. Yeah, that, that was my week. Okay, well, the news. The news. We have some information that Blizzard is going to be rolling out a new Battle.net voice chat service with a game called Overwatch, if you haven't heard of that. It's their new game that's coming out here in the next couple months or so. I'm not sure exactly when the launch is going to be, but the beta started yesterday, and it went live. They had a big, huge video stream that everybody got to watch and stuff and check it out. It's a, 
actually it was two days ago, and uh, it is looking really cool. It's a lot like Counter Strike, or um, you know, what are the other games? That's a first person multiplayer team battles, and it, it looks like a blast. You know, a whole lot of fun. So that's coming new. But the big thing is that they're going to be having this new battle net service, which is voice chat over Overwatch. So you don't have to use any of these other services that you're normally using, like Mumble or um, <clears throat> Discord or a few other ones. Ventrilo, that's the other one. Um, so that's something neat, uh, Espo. So do you guys remember, speaking of the voice chat in-game, World do of you Warcraft? guys... Do you remember that when World of Warcraft? Yes. They still they still might have it. It is still there, I think. No one like uses it. <laughs> Did you ever use it? Oh yeah. Use what? It was Yeah, exactly. Exactly. It was, no, I mean, it was, it was horrible. It was, it was bad. In game like, chat. You, voice chat. Yeah. Yeah, they had in game voice chat and it was uh it was a big flop. <laughs> so hopefully they uh kind of tightened the screws and uh loosened bolts where they needed to because man it was it was it was definitely not working real well with World of Warcraft and it was it was a little crazy. <laughs> yeah. This should be a lot better now. The thing is the question is are they gonna roll it out to the other services? I assume they are, especially if they're pushing multiplayer tournaments and all that stuff, everything all this around this new engine type thing. With matchmaking and laddering and all this other stuff. So we'll see. But um, yeah, it sounds pretty cool. Something different. And then I saw a rumor on Reddit this week um, that one of the players who is fairly big in, this, in the laddering um, was with a group that went out. This is from Vilps, I think. VLPS. I can't remember his name specifically, but I... He's a streamer, and he and a bunch of few, a few people went out to Blizzard and had a chance to speak with developers about things that they thought should be done on the laddering system and how that should all work. And in that conversation, um, they did say a few things about how they're going to be looking at the ladder and some changes might be coming this next season with the ladder and how, especially at the, how it works at the lower 100 rankings and legend rankings. So... But more changes might be coming up later on. No specifics were given. It's just there's some changes that might happen. I have the link in the show notes if you want to check it out for more. It's very vague, but it's just interesting because there's a lot of benefits I think can be made by making some changes to it. Uh, some people even mentioned, hey, a whole bunch of ideas came from this thread. Like maybe they should take it and split it into three different ladder section so that once you advance to a certain level on the first ladder, you move to the second ladder. And then you advance in that second ladder, then you move to the third ladder. You know, something like that, like a kind of leveling up process. So that would be interesting to see if that all comes comes around, but we'll see hopefully some changes coming forward in the, in the future. But just some rumor I came across, I thought you might be interested in that. And then the third piece of news is that Google... Google Play specifically is now adding podcasts to the Google Play service. And we have been approved. We're in it. So as soon as it goes live and you can start searching for podcasts on your Google Play device or Google Play account, we're there and you can listen to the show there and pick it up. So that's something pretty cool. It's not out yet. I've been looking to see if I can see if it shows up, but all our shows are already going to be showing up there live when that goes live on the system. So. If that's your preference and you want to listen on a Google Play, you certainly can now. So, good stuff. Okay, this week, Brawl. There was a little kerfluffle with Brawl this week. Is that, is that my cue? Yeah. Is that, is that my cue? <laughs> <laughs> this, week's, uh, this week's Espo Mode, or a.k.a. Brawl. Um, it, was, uh, it was interesting. So, if you were... You know, hovering over the Tavern Brawl button, um, what I guess it would be Wednesday morning, is that correct? <clears throat> um, you saw that it said, uh, you know, we'll be back in two hours. We'll be back in an hour. So I'm hovering Actually, over it. it went live in Europe, and they had to pull it. Wow. They I didn't hear about that. Because there was an audio bug or some bugs in the Brawl. 
And so basically the brawl was supposed to be something completely different than it became. So the people in Europe saw it then? Because I yeah. didn't hear this. Yeah, they actually, it actually came out and oh. got to play a couple rounds of it um, before there was a big brouhaha about it causing issues. And they pulled it and then put up the technical difficulties button to say that it was coming back here soon, shortly. And so then, wait a second. So there, because I didn't see it anywhere that well, people knew what the brawl was. Well, they did. They announced it. Actually, there was, uh, I think it was on our group's Facebook group. Somebody had mentioned what. What was it? Was going what was it be. called? Oh, uh, I don't remember what it was called. I sort of remember what it was about. I'm just gonna go ahead and tell the rest of the story while I find the comment about okay, it. Okay, so um, there was. So you would hover over the button, and it says, um, at least in North America, um, and it would say back in you know be back in one hour. So I'm hovering over it, waiting, waiting, and the next time I saw it. I hovered over it, and it said, um, be back in 23 hours. And I was like, whoa. And then I saw where, you know, Hearthstone or uh, Blizzard had put out information saying, you know, we apologize, but there's going to be a slight delay in this week's Tavern Brawl. So um, it did come out uh, Wednesday night, and it was what you all have seen this week's Spiders. And it is a repeat. It is a not-constructed you uh, get to play with cards from the whole entire collection, not just your own. So it is a pre-constructed, so uh, new player friendly, which is really cool. I always enjoy those. Um, so it's 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 really neat. Um, so the you, one that uh, was supposed to happen, okay. Uh, you know the captain that's in the middle of the board for Heroes of the Storm. Yes, Captain yes. Captain Captain Blackthorn. Okay, I think. Well, Blackheart. Blackheart, yeah, Captain Blackheart. Captain left treasure for everyone, but mostly for you. Each turn, you would open a chest of three random cards and choose one to put in your hand. That was what the brawl was supposed to be. Wow. I see it now. Yeah, I see it now. It's uh, it's called Captain Blackheart's Treasure, and it says every turn instead of drawing a card, take your pick from three cards in your deck. So apparently, the treasure. Is uh is like a um, uh tracking for hunters. Yep. Mm -hmm. Um, and I'm not sure if the other like with tracking the other two cards get discarded. You basically throw them away. You can't draw them the rest of the well, game. Well, this one said it was gonna be three random cards. <clears throat> so my yeah. guess is that every turn up to thirty cards you were gonna get. Are they I random guess. cards from your deck or are they random cards from the game? I think Wait, they were random from the game. Okay. Well, this week. The, the in the spiders you actually get um you choose a class so you do choose a class and the only minions in your deck are web spinners and those are the hunter only class cards it's a one one spider and it when it it's death rattle is it that it summons a random beast so any beast in the game you can get the um savage combatant from druid you can get um, all the beasts from Hunter. You can get all the beasts from any you know, from your any uh, um, expansion, TGT, GVG, Basic. Mm -hmm. It's it's really really fun to uh, get all those beasts out, and then of course, you know, just go crazy with beasts. It's I enjoy Hunter, so I really enjoyed this. Played it obviously with Mage first because. I mean, the hero power, right? Yeah. So killing spiders is a specialty with Mage. And um, had a blast with it. Rez and I, of course, brawled a little bit and had a lot of fun. But what's cool about it, again, is the fact that you can play with any card from the game. So you choose a hero, and it gives you spiders, and it gives you class cards or class spells. You don't get minions. There are no minions. So unfortunately, when you play that King Zelic, no one's going to win. So you can't win. You can't win a joust. It, it's just, it, it's not going to happen. So, <clears throat> but, uh, yeah. yeah, it's, it's crazy. The only minions are web spinners. And then of course, class spells only, but yeah, lots of fun. Um, I apologize that I wasn't in on the European side of things. Wow. I need to uh, pay attention. 
but apparently there was going to be a captain captain's brawl this week. Yep. So hopefully that sounds like that may be the case that they get it fixed. That well, was looking forward are, to that one. That one was really cool. There are still rumors that um, there's going to be a uh, co-op brawl. Yes, so. that's true. Right. It, it was seen on the chalkboard. Someone data mined the image of the chalkboard, which when you go into the brawl, there's like the chalkboard there. Um, of two, it looked like two, you know, players facing off against a giant um, mech. And, you know, have, have at it. Decide what you will. But I think it's co-op. So at least I hope it is. Well, all Man. those. Well, we talked about it last week with the uh, the yeah. different sayings that were found that says, you know, if I can beat both of you, yeah. So, anyways, yeah. Sound. It was pretty cool. This brawl is also very good, by the way, for doing lots of leveling up on your quests, getting all the quests finished. It's a lot of fun to do it with this one. So, if you uh, want to really focus on getting your quests done, this is a great one to do it with. Anyway. Anything else we want to do before we walk into the Warlock zone? I think I'm ready for Warlock, dude. You're always ready for Warlock. Love some Warlock. Warlock. Okay. Let me get my <clears throat> window set up here so I can bring up the screen for Twitch, guys. So as you guys know, this is our last class, and next week we will be talking about our predictions for BlizzCon. And we might dive into some other games. I don't know, probably. Depending on time, I think we can probably fill an hour and a half. Um, even though the show's probably supposed to be an hour, we usually go an hour and a half. Um, I don't know what we'll you're talking about. Yeah, we'll probably fill an hour with uh, Hearthstone stuff. So, But we might dive into some other BlizzCon information and uh, predictions. So if you guys have any predictions, email them to us. Uh, send us an iTunes review saying what you think. Or tweet at us and let us know your BlizzCon predictions. And maybe during my Twitter or Facebook or email uh, portions of the show, we will, we will talk about Oh, and that just makes me that. think. When the Google Play podcast goes live, I wonder if they'll have iTunes-type uh, iTunes reviews. If so, everybody needs to go out and put one out there. So we can get to the top of the list real quick. Oh, so Google Play is is working through iTunes? No, they're using their own feed. It's a direct RSS feed straight to iTunes or, or Google Play. So they'll be pulling it just like iTunes does. So and yeah. so it'll be a whole new view. rating system and everything. So it'll be their rating system, I assume. I'm oh, just so assuming there is one. We haven't so seen just, it go live yet. So you're saying like an iTunes review, you give us a Google Play. Okay, there we go. Yeah. Yeah, I'll it's, get it. Get up there up top quick. I will. Uh, I'll go back in time and give a review for when I was before I was on the show. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Warlock. Let's start on Warlock. Excellent. Sorry, Alvin. Oh yeah, that's me. Huh? Yeah, yeah. You're the one. <laughs> that's 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 your cue. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Okay. Demon you're sitting back there going, okay, yeah. Let's talk about it. What are you gonna say? <laughs> Team infused two cost spell. You can't hardly hear you. Want to move up to your mic. Give a demon plus three three. Give your opponent a mana crystal. It's a two cost spell called demon infused. Okay, my notes on this I put down. This is has a negative to it. It gives a mana crystal to your opponent. That's about all I had to say about this card, positive or negative. Yeah. Yet, this. Ugh. You know, I, I played it when it first came out. I played it in my demon deck. And it was cool on turn two to give my um, flame imp plus three plus three. And then just, you know, that, that, that's the only really, really awesome play with this. Um, because then you're, you're, is, if your opponent can't get rid of that imp, then, then you're golden. But you are giving them a mana crystal. So well, that's, that's all I have to do to get a golden warlock? Yeah, that's you what said you said. I would have be to golden. Do. You are golden. That's all you need to do. Well, that's what I did. Apparently. <laughs> like how, yeah. And now so, I know the secret. Yeah, it's it's tough. I mean, the bad thing is, uh, 
it is it is a common so you're gonna you're gonna get them i mean if you open any tg2 packs you will get the demon fuse you'll get your two just ignore it just leave you know what's five dust what's that you know i wouldn't even because yeah if you dust it then you're going to just end up dusting it again and again and again and just and you get lots of dust that way no you won't because this card is it's it, it, I, I think the dust it, it takes dust away from you. That's how bad this card is. <laughs> now, it's, uh, well, the, it's, the it's, more I read about it, the more I got this overall feeling. Everybody thinks this is probably one of the worst cards in the game. It's and, it's so tough for me to say bad things about warlock cards because I love them all. <laughs> I know, but this unfortunately I have to say, overall TGT not TG yeah TGT didn't give warlocks much to talk about well i was gonna wait till the end to talk yeah, about the whole well, shebang so okay I, yeah. so demon fuse um just i'd give it a pass i mean unless you're making a a deck that's full of demons and maybe a rush deck like you're rushing him down with these super fast demons which i don't really know what's gonna happen <laughs> you mean all those just, demons with charge on them yeah, if it's just demons, you're not really going to be fi- just face smashing. Wouldn't this uh, be better to use late game just so you don't lose the mana crystal? I mean, if you didn't you use know, late game, there's there's other cards that do the same thing that's yeah, very similar. It, well, I mean, I run power overwhelming. I yeah. mean, if you're if you're going to say, you know, use this late game, you know, to get that extra 3 damage in, just just run power overwhelming. I mean, it's, you know, because your guy's going to die at the end of the turn. With power, you know, it's at the end of the turn, you won the game anyway if you're waiting until the end to use this. Just, you know, put two power overwhelmings in and just... It, it's, it's a cool-looking card. I mean, who doesn't want to see a crazy-looking demon with purple coming out of his eyes, you know? Okay, uh, then. Yeah. That's all right, I would say. Moving on. Let's move on. Yeah. Probably the best named card in the expansion. Oh, this next one? Mm hmm. Tiny Knight of Evil. It is a two cost, three, two demon. Whenever you discard a card, gain one, one. Okay. Well, on this one, I had a few comments of it seems like the more we go through this, that Blizzard is trying to create a discard warlock deck. With all this discard functions in these game in these cards, and I would probably say this one synergizes pretty well with the Fist of Draxus. But um, I'm not so sure this carding the whole process works right now, and it might be better later on in a different expansion, maybe if they add some new cards. Right. I think this card's kind of fun <laughs> to play, though. I think so you're you're going to have to build like a discard deck or at least have the other discard cards in this warlock deck which means that you're probably going to build a deck around discarding cards. <laughs> so uh, it's it's tough um maybe this is that guy you're throwing in, you know, your your face warlock deck where you're just, you know, going face all the time. I don't I don't know. That's, I, so you're not, 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 not you're a lot in favor of this either. Yeah, not impressed. Not impressed. The uh, the card art's awesome though. I mean, you know, you it's got named after a guild in Wow. Yeah, it looks like a tiny Doctor Boom riding on a giant, um, fell fell demon. <laughs> I believe I read somewhere that this was kind of uh, named after a guild that was in Wow or something like that. So anyway, I should probably look that up before we hand gotcha instead of uh, <laughs> just spouting that off for no reason so okay let's <laughs> on next card wrath guard two cost four three demon whenever this minion takes damage also deal that amount to your hero this is the one card i hate to see pop out of a shredder or not a shredder but an unstable portal or i think this is the worst <laughs> card in tgt this is probably the worst card i've ever seen Oh no! This is this is actually one of the better cards in the set it, for what? warlock. For warlock, yeah. How is this a good yeah. card? Well, so, the, the one thing I can see as a positive is if you use this with the um, 
the guy that gains two two every time your hero gets damaged. That would be a good combo. Yeah, but then the, you're all floating watcher. How floating is that a good yeah. combo? Floating watcher, you get bigger and bigger and bigger every time you get hit. Yeah, but how does that combine with this card? Because this card damages, he gets you. bigger. Yeah, this yeah. one damages your hero. So when this guy takes damage, your hero gets your hero also takes the damage. When you have floating watcher on board, when you take damage, he gets plus two, plus two. The floating watcher does, not this guy. Oh, I see. I see. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so in a deck where maybe you're running a lot of those, you're running Floating Watcher, you're running this guy, you're running Flame Imp, and then maybe you're running Molten Giants, where you know that you're going to take a lot of damage early game, get those Molten Giants out sooner. Um, that's kind of why I like this guy, because you can, and he's, he does a lot of damage on, on turn three. And you so have a lot of things three, to heal yourself with. <laughs> Yeah, three, yeah. Three. I mean, I, I mean, you can, you know, you can run um, Earth and Ring Farseer. You can run Antique Healbot. Um, it's just, it's a different kind of deck that you're gonna build. But uh, I, I, you know, I played around with it. Went about fifty percent with it. It was definitely fun, though. I mean, any deck you build with Warlock is gonna be fun. That's true. So this, uh, I don't know, Ariel. Have you played with this guy? Yes. Okay, and. It's hit horrible. Okay. All right. Well, there, it's well, there, horrible. Okay. All right. Because <laughs> basically, they can do, you know, like they can shield slam this for 20 damage or whatever, and your hero takes that. Because you can't shield slam um, on the hero. You can only do it on minions. So yeah. that's the way that this is. And I'm just scared whenever I play this. Like, even on turn two, it's not worth the 4 3 body on the board. If it was a three four, maybe. But well, more than no, maybe. that'd be worse. Oh my goodness! Because then that way you'd be taking more damage because he'd be out there longer. Uh, it's a warlock. I mean, honestly, like this this card fits the class. This is. But you're taking so much damage with this. Just play molten giants. Take advantage of it. Mm -hmm. This is I one of those know. cards that you just have to have the mindset of, I'm gonna take a lot of damage to get advantage. Yeah. And Take. I have to go in with that mindset, just like playing Warlock in general has that mindset of you know, taking your health to gain an advantage is just part of the Warlock's mindset. Would you play this in Handlock? Oh, uh, no. No. So what would you play it in? Um, I'd play it in a probably uh, take damage, buff my demons deck. With a with two molten giants, because I mean, molten giants work so good with this card. I'd run two flame imps, run two of this guy, two floating watchers, two molten giants. Um, trying to think, I mean, you know, you're you're kind of building around taking a lot of damage and and dealing a lot of damage too. Um, I would probably, I don't know, I might use this guy to control, you know. So you're you're using him to take out minions instead of using him to go face. But yeah. So okay. your mileage may vary. It's risky. Be careful. You can get hit hard in the face if you're not. <laughs> okay. And be ready to put um uh what's the what is that when we just talked about it? Um spell the Four four extra and kills your dude. <laughs> um, four, oh, four, power four overwhelming. Extra. Yeah, power overwhelming. Yeah, Thank power you. <laughs> Rain. Four four extra. I never yeah. heard it said that way. So four four extra you and kills throw your this dude. Out there, and then the next turn, do power overwhelming and run him into the hero and let him die. That way, he does eight damage, and you don't take any damage. Yeah, I mean, eh, just a thought. Yeah. Anyway, okay. It just seems like you're doing your the opponent a favor because not only do they get to take out your minion, they also do damage to you. It just doesn't seem like it's do doing you any good. Well, you're getting your molten giants out soon. <laughs> big, 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 big eight, eight. Ariana, do you have molten giants? I have one. Yeah. Okay. There you go. That's uh, you need to get two. Put them in a deck with this guy. Have fun. Okay. It's my <laughs> there homework. You go. That's your homework. <laughs> uh, 
I like the discussion. I like the discussion. Hey, yeah, good dude. Just talk about it. Figure it out. All right, the next one is I'm pretty sure Espo's favorite, Dreadsteed. Oh, four cost one one demon death rattle summon a Dreadsteed. Uh, yeah. Vastidious, you got okay. So information I got on this. You things on this one, yeah. <laughs> So before we talk about the card itself, there's one thing I do want to mention on this card. The flavor text. Have you read the flavor text on this card? Well, you I th- might I not probably, have until now. I probably have. Well, the flavor text says, Crescendo himself summoned the steed, riding it to victory in the grand tournament. Wherever he rides, an army of riders rides behind him, supporting the legendary champion. You may go digging back through the history and World of Warcraft and Warcraft in general, never find Crescendo wonder what's this talking about. What this is talking about is actually referencing a Reddit user. His uh, name was Crescendo1909, or it still is, and he's been fighting cancer over the last year, and he actually came out and did this public uh, thank you to Blizzard and to Hearthstone for the game and for everything it's done for him. In his time, he's been struggling with his disease and trying to recover through this. And it just, it was incredible post. He got huge attention in the Reddit uh, world and lots of people commenting on that and wishing him well. And Blizzard went through and did a huge shout out for him on this card just to give him that the, the props. And the cool thing is that he's doing well. He actually was gone for about six months and going through his treatment and getting through what he had to get through, and he's actually been given the prognosis of that he may make a full recovery. And wow. he's put an update to kind of update that along the, along the way there. But it's really cool not only that Blizzard did a shout-out for them on the card like this as a kind of a tribute, but that he was able to stay around and still actually be able to see this himself and, and get to see it himself too. So pretty cool story that comes along with a pretty cool card, I have to say. Um my my opinion yeah. is it combos really well with quite a few cards, but I think the one it combos the best with is the Anima Gob- Golem. Ugh, I keep wanting to call it Golem Goblin. Anima Golem. Try saying that three times fast. No. <laughs> yeah, the Anima Golem is a six mana nine nine mech that says at the end of each turn destroy this minion if it's your only one. Well, the thing with this Dreadsteed is that it stays around. You kill it, it comes back. It kill it, it comes back. At the end of the turn, it's still there. Unless it's been <laughs> silenced or what was the other thing it can be done? Um, you, well, you can, there's a couple different things you can do to this guy. You can uh, polymorph boar. You can that's polymorph, right, you can polymorph it. Poly, polymorph sheep. Hex. You can uh, silence, you can hex. Um, you can... Uh, Earth shock. Urshock, any anything that has silence will take care of this guy, um, or just let him fill the board with them, and then you know he he can't get more than seven. <laughs> yeah, that was going to be my warning: is that um, don't let this thing <laughs> fill your board because then you can't play anything else. And I've done that once before. I played it with um, Baron Rivendare, and it was ugly. He get my uh, infinite dread deck was oh so much fun. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I mean, it's still fun, but I just don't play it as much because I'm trying to get Paladin up to uh, level 60 and Golden. But, uh, man, Baron Rivendare, uh, Kel'Thuzad, um, this guy, Mal'Ganis. Uh, well, you know what else works well with is Sacrificial Pact, which is a zero-mana spell. Destroy mm-hmm. a demon, restores five health to your hero, and then yeah. he comes back. Yeah, and uh, just just awesomeness. So this guy... This guy's just too much fun in Warlock. If you want guaranteed fun, build a deck around this guy and have a blast. Did you probably ever, forty-five, fifty percent win rate, but definitely fun. Did you ever combine him with uh, Demon Fire or Demon Heart, which is the ones that give it? It gives a demon two-two or five-five. Yeah, I, I, I usually don't, don't put it on this guy because I, well, I use it for removal. Um, I'll put it on this guy and then run him into something. You know, removing it, and then he dies. Um, I like putting Power Overwhelming on this guy. Because he's going to die anyway with Power Overwhelming, and then he just comes back as a 1-1. One, one. 
to torture you again. <laughs> yes, yes. But uh, Mal, Mal Gannis is the most fun with this guy. Yeah, it's cool to get Baron Rivendare, but then these guys get out of hand, and you can't play any other cards because as soon as they die, they come back and they fill your board. But uh, So Baron Rivendare can get a little annoying. Um, I would say Mal Gannis is the greatest combo with this Oh, one. yeah, because he gets plus two, plus two to every demon. Just so awesome. And then, of course, Sacrificial Pact. In anything that you know makes it uh, double, um, KT is a lot of fun too because it dies and then at the end of the turn another one is summoned. But but I, I will warn you, it it can get out of hand quick and it will hurt you if your board is filled with one ones and you can't drop like that Ragnaros or that Ysera or you know any big dude like you know Doctor Boom. You can't drop him. Can't drop Malganus. You know, you filled your board with one ones, and now you can't even fit Malganus in. So it's you know you got to be careful. You got to be careful. Ariana, you didn't say much on this one. I've never played this one. Oh, I don't have it. I crafted it. I oh, had to. What? Oh, how dare you! you if you 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 don't play Warlock without this guy, you have to you have to do this. You have uh, to do what it. deck would you put him in? Oh, the Dreadsteed deck. <laughs> uh, its own deck. Okay. Yeah, you gotta you gotta build a deck around it to have you gotta optimize the fun. I mean, yeah, he fits in maybe like a a, a demon deck, um, maybe a zoo deck, but really he has to ha he deserves his own deck. Like you need to make a deck around him and have a blast. Sounds good to me. Yeah, yeah. Enjoy. <laughs> so you I need mean, to craft two of those. You, you, basically, you need 1,200 dust right now. So you got to craft two of those and a Molten Giant. Okay, that's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you better get to, work. <laughs> get to grinding. <laughs> All right, so the next card is Fist of Draxus. Four-cost spell. When you play or discard this, deal four damage to a random enemy. Okay, well, this one... Combos well with cards that have discard, like a succubus, doom guard, or soul fire. And some notes to be made with this is the discard that he uses, that triggers this, comes from must be from your hand. In other words, the card that it gets discarded must actually leave your hand, and it does not work with fell reaver. Fell reaver is the card that every turn that. I forgot what it is now. No, Fell Reaver is the 8-8 uh, eight, eight that whenever you're, it's a 5-cost 8-8, eight, eight, whenever your opponent plays a card, That's right. you you discard three cards. So you're, you're off burning. Off the top of your deck. You're off the top of your deck, yeah. Right. They, they just up and dust, <clears throat> gone. And just a note, since this is something that I kind of get associated with a few times here and there for some weird reason, it doesn't work with Deathwing either. Because you was, you associate everything with Deathwing now. Because <laughs> he destroys all the minions first and yeah. then discards everything. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways. This card, well, no, he, he, this card this card works with uh with Deathwing. Not from my understanding. Yeah, because when you discard this, so when you play Deathwing, it discards your hand. It destroys everything on the board and it discards your hand. So when you discard this card, you're basically going to do four damage to the opponent. Ah, okay. Okay, yeah, so how about, how, how come Espo crushes my dreams and rescues yours? <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> what is this? So, so, Vastidious, play this with Deathwing. There you go. <laughs> oh my goodness. Excellent. <laughs> Fist of Jaraxxus. It's, it's one of those cards that, like... Eh, if you're already winning, this is this is good, but it's not gonna bring you out of the depths and get you back in the game. I mean, True. it's they 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 say like win more. This is like kind of one of those cards because you're you're paying four to do four damage. Um, yeah, if if you discard it, you're you're you don't have to p pay the mana, but honestly, it's it's tough to pinpoint those discard cards. You, you basically yeah. have to play out your hand with this being the only card left and then do something, you know, to, 
well, I, the, you know, the two chords like Doom Guard. So you play yeah. out your hand, so you have this and Doom Guard in your hand. Play the Doom Guard. I, I mean, that would be like one of the perfect combos. And it's so tough to get a perfect combo. Um, well, not really when it comes to Doom Guard. It seems like I'm always sitting there with Doom Guard and two cards in my hand that I don't yeah. want to discard. It's like, really? Are you kidding me? So having this stuck on my hand would be great. Well, there's, there's a lot more cards that deal four damage for a lot less. Again, I go back to Power Overwhelming. I mean, you pay one, and it adds another four damage to a minion, and, you know, that's paying... You only pay one mana. Yeah. Granted, you lose that minion at the end of the turn, but it's a good finisher. You use it to finish, or you play it on a minion that has a death rattle that you want to go off, like uh, Void Caller. So, Fist of Jirax is paying, paying... The way I look at it, I look at cards like, let's take the worst-case scenario... Would you still play this? Worst case scenario, I'm paying four to deal four damage to a random enemy. Mm -hmm. So I, I have to work the board so that RNG is in my favor, and I'm still paying four mana for four damage. It's just, it, yeah. it's not worth it. There's no value in that. Um, it's just, uh, one, I'm having to work the board to, to lessen the RNG. Two, I'm paying way too much for four damage. And three, it's taking up a spot in my deck that something cool like Power Overwhelming could be in. So, yeah. Not, not, not playable unless you're making a discard deck. Then have fun, you know, with your 10% uh, win rate. <laughs> <laughs> Even in casual. Okay, then. But in arena, I mean, it may work, um, not in arena, but it may work in a brawl. Who knows? That's why I keep these cards, because, you know, in these brawls, we may run into something where, you know, this brawl says every time you play a card, you discard a card. Or any time your opponent plays a card, you discard a card. Or every so turn you're, you discard your entire hand. Yeah, well, I don't know about that. But yeah. yeah. <laughs> So, I mean, you know, keep keep cards, guys. You never know when a brawl's going to come around, and you're like, oh, man, Fist of Jaraxxus would have been awesome. I shouldn't have dusted it to try to make that molten giant. <laughs> well, there's an idea for a brawl. Every turn, you discard your entire hand. Oh, At the beginning of the turn, you draw three cards. Dude, I have ideas. <laughs> I, I have stacks of ideas for brawls. Okay, never it's, mind. I, I, need to, I need to go talk to... Uh, Blizzard? So... Mike Denae and all those guys and be like, hey, listen, just bring me on for a week and I will write the rest of your brawls for the year. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would be awesome. Uh, I mean, well, I mean, we used to always try to think of cool ways to play um, tournaments. And, and in fact, and you're available starting this weekend for that week. I don't work this weekend. I work so you Friday. Could, you could but be I there all week. next week and be happy to help them, right? Well, I have my art conference next week. I can't. Can't miss that. In and I'm BlizzCon, and I'm BlizzCon, BlizzCon, you know. And I'm turning forty next week, so yeah, I won't be able to watch BlizzCon because I'll be in Asheville, turning forty. It's my birthday. Wow. But yeah, what, what do you birthday. mean? Wow. Which day? <laughs> Tuesday. Tuesday. Okay. So everyone on Tuesday, tweet Espo. Oh jeez. Send them <laughs> a happy birthday. No. And no, make sure you do that. No, actually, Eddie, when you hear this episode. Video. And you're listening to this episode, send Espo a tweet at. Uh, hold on, I'll look it up. It's no, you XCMTV should. Gamer. You guys have a podcast. It doesn't matter. Just tweet him happy yeah. birthday for the rest of his life, please. Oh <laughs> and what you guys need tweet to do on when happy birthday, no, too. No, no, you do not. Missing out on that. No. Now, here's what you guys need to do. You need on Tuesday, get on the Twitter and tweet at Arianwin saying happy birthday, Espo. <laughs> no, no. This is supposed uh, to be payback. <laughs> I guarantee you will get more tweets than me on Tuesday. No. <laughs> and they will say happy birthday, no. Espo, on uh, your page. <laughs> no. Uh, uh, okay, so what's yes, the next card, card. Arianwin? Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> Dark bargain. Six cost. Destroy two random enemy minions. Discard two random cards. <clears throat> I got okay. to play this card. And I got to discard Fist of Jaraxxus. Oh, really? 
Yeah, that was pretty cool. And this card actually won me the game. Wow. Well, this yeah. combos well with Fist of Jaraxxus and Tiny Knight of Evil, which we both already mentioned. Um, the one thing I kept reading about on this card is that people say use this card a lot like Sabotage or Deadly Shot, that you're limiting what minions are on your opponent's board before you use it to get the best results you're looking for, and that you can also reach minions behind Taunt with this card too. So, But other than that, it's again a card designed for a discard deck. Yeah. Gaspo? I mean... Yeah. Yeah, I think you you got to you got to build a deck around it. I mean, this again, there's so many other cards out there that have better mana cost. Um Dark Bargain doesn't do it for me. Again, it's a warlock card, so I can't really say, you know, it seems like every warlock card has so much fun potential. It'd be more fun to do Twisty Nether. Except that you lose your cards. But Twisting the Other is better animation. Uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> At least it looks better yeah. when it goes down. Costs a lot Some, more. But. Somebody go out there and build a discard deck and let me know how that goes. Yeah. Because uh, Re Rez apparently has done it. I kind of did it, but I don't really remember it. And I'm thinking that's because I was very disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> Probably so, yes. Okay, yeah. then. Well, moving on to a card we actually are familiar with. At least I am. I use this one a lot more. Sorry. Void Crusher. Six cost, five, four demon. Inspire. Destroy a random minion for each player. Two things. It combos well with Dreadsteed. Combos well with Fencing yeah. Coach and Maiden of the Lake. Those two are pro Inspire cards, meaning they give Inspire a little extra boost. It can hit minions that are stealth or behind taunt. The problem is it's random, so you can't control it. And yes, it can kill itself. Play this when you have more minions than your opponent, I suppose. Is that what you were commenting on this one? Yeah, I'm thinking, you know, you kind of <laughs> play this on, on turn eight when you can inspire immediately. Um, mm -hmm. Hopefully you'll have more minions than your opponent. That way, you know, and maybe your minions will be smaller. You, lessen the RNG as much as you can, you know. Try to get their board down to one minion and pinpoint it. Um, you know, in this game, the best players are known for taking RNG and knowing how to lessen the randomness. Um, and with this card, you really got to pinpoint it. You got to, you know, figure it out, know when to play it. Um, the only problem is once it's on the board, if it doesn't die, be careful hitting your hero. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know, yep. because you could, there could be no minions on the other side and you have, you know, three minions while you're killing one just to get a card. And, uh, it, it's, it's tough. I, I don't recommend playing it. It is a demon. Um, you could bring it out and silence it and have a 5-4 for 6 mana plus the silence cost. Yeah. No, yeah. I've, gotten it, I've gotten it a few, t actually two times I can remember out of uh, Unstable Portals. And it's like, oh, this this thing, great. Okay, how do I get rid of it quick? Um, it's a 5-4. I mean, it's not a bad size for a minion if you just hold off on using Inspire until you know for sure that you want to use it. But Yeah. But it, it's dangerous. It it's can be kind dangerous. of expensive, because you, if you want to use the hero power right away, you have to wait till turn eight. Yep. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know. It's it's one of those cards where if you're really good at you know taking randomness in the game and and lessening it, then this this card may work for you. But uh, yeah, I just six mana for a five four just doesn't do it for me. Okay, then. Moving on to our... We're, we do... going, we're going by mana cost, so okay. we got... Uh, I was just putting I the, mean, uh, let, the, let, no, that one at the end just because he's legendary. Well, we All can right. do that. We can, we can do that. 
Okay. Ar okay. Ariana will decide. Here we go. Ariana, you decide since you're reading the cards. Here's some Doom Guard. Good girl. Seven cost, six, eight, demon. Blank. Okay. He's just a big body. Yep, for seven mana. But you cannot target him with Big Game Hunter. Ah. Because he's only got six attack, not seven attack. I thought you were going to say with spells, and I'm like, he doesn't say that. He doesn't no, say he's, but he's not a BGH target, but he's a big body. And he does combo with the Doomcaller. So you can use Doomcaller on the board, which is a 3-4 demon that when he dies, it uh, summons... Void Caller? Doom. Yeah, he's... Well, he calls him Doom Caller because he hopes that he gets Doom Guard every time. No, sorry, Void Caller, yes. <laughs> I was thinking Doom Guard, yes. He's the, he is the Doom Caller. Um, yeah, the Void Caller, so that he can summon this guy, so... Big body. Okay. Um, so then, Wilfred Thistlebang. Oh, are you going to ask Booz not going to say anything? Uh, so? I was, I was going to say something awesome. But uh, Ariana doesn't want to hear it. <laughs> you don't have anything to say. Okay, Wilfred so the Oh, oh, she really doesn't. Okay, <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> All right. Uh, six cost, four, four. Cards you draw from your hero power cost zero. And Espo has this card. So okay. anyway, Fearsome Doom Guard's nice when you play, um, like, since I'm just going to go over top of you, Ariana, right over your head. <laughs> It, but go for it. <laughs> he's okay, so he's great in arena, um, because he's a big dude. Um, he's great when you get him from Bane of Doom because you're paying five mana to kill something off and get a fearsome doom guard. Mm -hmm. Um, he's a demon. Granted, he's a little bit expensive, but he's uh, he's got a big booty like eight, eight health is nice. I like eight health, I'm yeah. cool with that. So, um, in Arena, great pick. Um, getting him out of a Bane of Doom, not bad. And that's it. There we go. See, that wasn't so bad. Okay. There you go. Back to Wilfred Fizzlebang. Yeah. The only yeah. notes I have on it is that it does not work with Chromagus, by the way. Confirmed from Soraya. Um, he's easy to silence. He's easy to kill with his big four health. I think he's not as great as he sounds. And I don't know if you noticed, but Jaraxxus is looming behind him. But Wilfred is the one who summoned Jaraxxus mm -hmm. in the original yep. lore. So, yeah, that's all I got to say about him. Other than that, I, I, my opinion was like, eh, I wouldn't craft him. Oh, I crafted him. He was, he was definitely, you should craft this now, just like me. That's what I did. Yeah, you, you crafted I, him for the mustache, right? I for no, I crafted him because look at the background, Jaraxxus, man. <laughs> love, love some Jaraxxus. In fact, little little uh, uh, how do you say? Um, spoiler alert here. Um, I'll tell you guys right now. I'm thinking of getting a goat for the farm, and I think I'm gonna name him Jaraxxus. <laughs> <laughs> so d yeah, don't tell my wife. Get a goat. <laughs> Naming him Jaraxxus. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyway, um, I, I like him. I mean, you, yeah, you got to build a deck around him. You can't just put him in, you know, handlock and be like, oh, yeah, this is going to be awesome. Um, you kind of got to, you know, build a deck around him, have fun. Again, these Warlock cards, TGT made a lot of interesting Warlock cards, but they made a couple really fun Warlock cards, and this is definitely one of them. So, he uh, he get, he can get out of hand. If they don't if they don't get rid of him, he can get out of hand. And his flavor text says he can summon anything, even a fearsome doom guard. He's pretty your best, he's pretty your, sure this is going to work out. <laughs> your best bet is to get him out of Confessor Peltris, and then play Power Word Shield on him to give him six health, and then just keep healing him up, and uh, you know, ha have a blast with him. Granted, you're not gonna you know, draw cards with your hero power, but, you know, at least they'll stay on the board and they'll be like, man, that's Wolford Fizzlebang. And they'll keep guessing. They'll be like, wait, is he going to get a zero cost card? So, yeah, yeah that's a little confusing. That's where, he, yeah, that, that's where he can come out and be confusing. So, 
Every turn, your your opponent will be like, "Wait a second, what?" Okay, now, no. so okay. you said you built all... decks with him in there. How did the, mm -hmm. how's that worked out? Is he no. horrible? Is he not? But I had a lot of fun. <laughs> horrible. Okay. So this is just like my recommendation year months ago when we did a show on what we should recommend people to craft. You're recommending people craft this, yet you don't like it. No, I love it. It's awesome. But I mean, you're asked how he did. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, he, he made a lot of fun, but I mean, you're, you sounded like you were asking how he did, like, competitively. Yes. Yeah, he did. Is he a good card? Is he going to make your game better? Tell you what, here's what you need to do. Look at this guy. Just, just look oh, at I him. Oh, I know. Absolutely. He's one of the best card art in the, in the game. You know? Okay. Awesome. Y you look at him. Tell me if you think he looks competitive. <laughs> <sighs> right? There you go. There's your answer. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so moving on. That is the last card. So overall, which one would be your top? Oh, you know my top. He's a four-cost demon, and he's a one-one. His he's name a dreadful steed. is his dread steed. There you go. Typed it in the show notes just I agree. Now. It's Dreadsteed. Well, since I, mean, I haven't played that card, I can't really pick it. Okay. Okay. Fair. I'm going to go Dark Bargain because that one was fun. Well, the, the thing well, about Dreadsteed is... It, so, it makes sense. Yep. Dreadsteed, Dreadsteed can actually be semi-competitive, but he's also a ton of fun. So, if you're, mm -hmm. you're taking your rating from fun and competitive... Then Dreadsteed is up here. You know, he's, he's, yeah. I'll have to craft Dreadsteed. it someday. Maybe you'll like get tonight. it out of the pack. I don't have enough dust. Maybe you'll well, get it out maybe, of the pack. Maybe you should open some packs and get some dust. Uh, I'll look and see if I have any gold. All okay. right. So this week's hints and tips are kind of based on Warlock. Um, and based on my trials and tribulations this week, and Vestidius too, w with Hunter, um, and a few of our listeners, they, they kind of chimed in also. Um, hero power for Warlock, extremely beneficial. If you ever hear anyone talk about which hero power out of the nine is the most powerful, uh, nine out of every ten people will say Warlock. Warlock hero power is amazing. Card advantage is huge in this game. Being able to draw cards for just two mana and two health is, is incredible. So many cards actually uh, benefit from you being at low health or losing health. Um, it's just, it's amazing. Handlock is the perfect example of why uh, the Warlock's hero power is so great. There is a drawback, though. Don't get yourself too low. A good rule of thumb is when you get down below 15 health, be careful with life tap. Because that 15 health is like the halfway, um, as you know, Savage Roar on top of um, Force of Nature is 14 damage alone on an empty mm -hmm. board. So that's you know something to think about. Um, there are a lot of other spells that with... Um, like eight or more mana can deal 15 damage in one turn. So you kind of got to watch life tapping after 15 health. So that's one thing, like a little tip for you. Life tap away till you get to 15 health. Then really think about what can your opponent play? What is on the board that can take you out next turn? Um, also, watching tournaments this week, talking with some listeners, um, talking to Vastidius about playing, uh, we, we realized that, um, well, we didn't realize, we already knew it, but we thought that a hint and tip for this week would be bluffing. So being able to bluff your opponent, being able to convince your opponent that you have a certain card or that you have a certain secret in play um, causes them to rethink their move and possibly concede. Um, I know a listener had talked to us earlier about a match where his opponent obviously thought it was, uh, what was it, Vestidius? He, he thought it thought was he explosive, had a trap. explosive trap. Yep. 
Yeah, so he uh, conceded because obviously he would have died if he would have attacked in. But really, it was I think snake trap. Yep. So, um, you know, it's easy easier to bluff with secrets. Um, it's also uh, a good bluff to use your emotes. Um, I think he had emoted well played, mm -hmm. as if you know, hey, come you at won. me because you know you're 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 gonna lose or you're you're winning. You know, well played. Right. Um, so use your emotes, uh, obviously. Try not to use bad manners too much. When people say BM, that's what they're talking about. They're not talking about um, going to the bathroom. They're talking about bad manners. Thank so, uh, yeah, anytime. I'm here all night long. Um, <laughs> so, so, yeah, uh, bluffing. It's possible in Hearthstone, even though you're behind a monitor, a keyboard, and thousands of miles of internet, you can, um, you can bluff your opponent. So good luck with that. Have fun with it. Um, do not use it for evil. <laughs> good stuff. Good stuff. Well played. And speaking of that, since you did mention tournaments, um, the tournaments that we got going on right now is the Hearthstone World Championship brackets. Woo! The Hearthstone World Championships going on right now. And basically what they're doing is the 16 players who made it into the, the last match. Is it 16? Yeah, it was 16 World Players from all the different regions are all in California in person battling it out right now to see who the eight are going to finalists are going to be on stage next week at the finals. So they're narrowing it down now as we speak. In fact, they're playing right now. And uh, it is a lot of fun. There's the, some of the best players in the world are there, and it really shows watching these guys play back and forth. I was watching several games today, and one of the big things I have to say, watching these guys play, I'm especially playing, watching Life Coach. It makes it so much easier when Life Coach is playing. I'm looking at the cards and his situation and what's in his hand going, I would probably play this and this. Why aren't you playing your cards? Come on, the rope. Why aren't you playing your cards, Life Coach? <laughs> oh, you're driving me insane. Play the Oh, he made it finally. But he plays different cards than I would have ever played. I'm like, oh. And the cool thing is, as the game is going on, the host, the, the casters who are casting it, are all professional players who are very good at their game as well. Equiparian, um, Brian Keebler's there. A bunch of, you know, Frodan and Amaz are all casting this. And... They're explaining a lot of the different moves that you can make. He says, well, you could do this, this, or this. And they're having a conversation with each other, just talking about what would be the best move. And it's amazing how many times they say one thing and then the player will actually do that. And they're like, yeah, see, you're yeah, right. Or then the other times they'll, they'll play something completely opposite. And they're like, oh, he's not going to do that. I wonder how this is going to turn out. And all. So it's a lot of fun to watch, not only for just the entertainment value, but for also for learning. I'm learning yeah. a lot from watching this in different ways to play the cards. So highly recommend watching it if you get a chance to watch it. Don't miss next week if you can with the virtual ticket if you're able to. So, Yeah, yeah. and if you look at our show notes, we actually have uh, the first link links you to the brackets, and there's different groups. And then, of course, the second link is their Twitch stream, which is where you'll find all the live commentary and streaming going on. I do have to say, at the same time, other tournaments are going on, getting ready for the uh, whole BlizzCon thing. The Heroes of the Storm stream was yesterday afternoon. Uh, that was pretty cool. That's insane. If you don't to have a little time, just you got to watch those things. It's insane. I can't. These guys play. I, I watch it, and I just I, I get lost. I have no idea what's going on. The By cool, the time, I think the best part about it is the casters. They get so excited and they're screaming. I can't figure yelling. out what's going on. It like, doesn't matter. I, you just get all <laughs> excited and hyped up. I mean, yeah, the biggest thing is I was watching a battle the other day, yesterday I think it was, and the one team, one of the team was Cloud9. They were just killing this other team. I mean, they had four levels on them, just blowing them out of the, the water, and all of a sudden a few things happened and shifted. And the opposing team was able to come back and tie them up, and they were both ranked level 20 and made it really, really close together. And it was amazing that they came back to that. Because I'm looking at it thinking, if we were playing for fun, you know, obviously we're not any good at this game. <laughs> and we were down four 
levels, we would never come back and be able to catch up. So seeing these guys be able to do that, it's just amazing to show the level of their their experience. But let me say, it, it you pretty much can't figure out what's going on unless you've actually played the game a little bit. Otherwise, it's like, okay, there's a mass of characters, like, doing something to each other. I don't even know what they're doing. Like, what is the point of this game? Um, so if, you, if you've actually played Heroes, then it's really entertaining to watch. I love it. I mean, watching Hearthstone is really cool, too, but I prefer Heroes um, because it is a little bit more active. I can't. It's too. It's too much for me. I, it's <laughs> overload. Like I'm like. It's what? like watching football or basketball over chess. You know, like both are good, but. Mm, I don't know that watching chess on TV is good. Yeah. How, okay. how about more wonder... like uh, playing baseball, watching baseball versus football? Maybe. There's a lot of standing around waiting for them to do stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know. And then it's even worse when you're playing watching Life Coach. <laughs> He stresses me out. Oh, he, he stresses me out so much. But yes. I love watching him because he's such an awesome player. Oh, and the character, his, his personality is awesome. So, anyways, quickly, you know, with the players who are in the tournament, who are you kind of pulling for? Who would you narrow it down to? Obviously, Life Coach is one of them. Yeah. Life Any Coach. other favorites? I think the the final should be Life Coach versus Hot Form. I really, I really like Hot Form. Hot Form from Canada. Yeah, and he is such a cool guy. Um, granted, I I don't know all the other guys. I, I mean, I don't know any of them, but just watching them play, um, I, I I'll, I'll say it. I really don't like Purple. Um, I know he says he's a nice guy, <laughs> but it's and I know he says. You know, Canadians always say they're sorry, but the way he does it and the way he BMs, it's a little bit too much for me. And then when they actually interviewed him when he won the championship, it was just odd. Like, I don't know. Like, I know it's a little awkward when you're not used to being in front of that many people and they call you out, but, you know, look at Life Coach. I mean, he's just... He's fluid. He's he, he thanks the fans. He he knows you know that like he knows what to say. And yeah, some of these I, uh, I, interviews are a little awkward. They're like you. Know, yeah, like, great I, job yeah. in this battle. Do you have anything to say about you know what you're playing? He's, um, yeah, I just I tried to do my best, and that's all I can do. Okay, but let me really, just say, Hearthstone sorry. interviews. Mm, they're not they're not thing. there yet. <laughs> um, no offense to anybody, but both the interviewers and the interviewees need practice. Well, some of these players are, you know, this is the first time they've ever been in this type of situation. Mm-hmm. Period. Some of them, um, you know, some of the Chinese players are on there, and they're doing the interviews, and it's just really humbling sometimes because one of the players said that in his interview that. You know, they asked, well, what would you do with the money? And he said, well, you know, I'd buy my mom a car because she's done, she's always wanted a car. And everybody was thinking, you know, the guys on the casting were just saying, yeah, that's pretty cool, you know, that he's going to do that. And says, you know, everybody needs a car. And um, that's something, you know, something along the lines, you know, I'd probably buy myself a car and then the other. But I'm thinking about in his culture and where he's at or coming from, it may be a huge luxury for somebody to have a car in his area. And so for him to say that, it's like us saying, yeah, I'd buy my mom a house in some aspects of it. So it's really kind of humbling to see some of the where these players are coming from, especially some of these other countries. You never know what their backgrounds are going to be like. So yeah. it's neat to see them in, in these types of situations. And these Chinese players or the Asian Mark area players are really good. They're winning a lot of the tournament, the games so far. And I do find myself rooting for whoever's North American just because you know, I don't know all the players necessarily, and I see an American flag or I'll see a Canadian flag, and like, okay, I'm gonna go for them. But it's kind of like the Olympics, you know, you're like rooting for whoever's your country or your region. So it's kind of cool to kind of get involved and watch that. But I'm not trying to be country specific, but you know, sometimes I just don't know who to root for. But I do know who you know, I am rooting for. Um, life coach, I think he's a great guy, and it's fun to watch him play. So. Well, cool. Awesome. Okay. Enough about that. We'll move on 
to the last part here. So um, we did get one iTunes review this week uh, from Mike in the Fort. He says, this is a very enjoyable show as a gamer on a budget. I find myself in that niche of wanting to be a serious player, but due to resource constraints, having to slide more to the casual free-to-play side. And more than once, I have, I've wanted to rage quit. And listening to the show has talked me off the ledge. I find a banner between the three hosts to be very entertaining. Good job, team. Excellent. Uh, our, our banter. I like the banter. <laughs> I, I enjoy this banter. <laughs> so, yeah, I agree. This is, uh, yeah, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for these guys. I mean, if it we, wasn't for the banter? Yeah, if it wasn't for Ariano and Vestidius and, and our relationship and the way things go and being, being casual. And, yeah, it works out well. So, this guy okay. hit it. He did. He did it. I know, and I'm glad he he didn't go off the ledge. I mean, you know, it's just you know, it's just a game. Yeah. <laughs> so, and I totally understand playing with a resource constraint, gaming on a budget. That's why you play as many games as you can for free and do all the quests and yeah. find ways to come up with ways to win, make gold throughout the Let game. Let me just say that by now. My collection has been built up quite a bit. Um, I have, you know, a lot more legendaries that at the beginning it seemed like I'd never, ever get. <laughs> yep. And a lot of the cards that are necessary, you know, like for forever I felt like I couldn't build a deck without legendaries. And then I found ways to do that. And then I was just trying to craft enough to get one deck. And then, you know, then I started crafting, like, one legendary or two legendaries. Now I have a lot, and I'm also starting to um, craft some of the like more gimmicky cards because no, I mean, don't mean gimmicky, but some cards that I Fun. wouldn't craft first. They're not priority, like second priority. Um, Boger. Uh, no, he was he was a priority. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Uh, exactly. Uh, so you know, like cards like Molten Giant, that's not a priority, unless I made Warlock or uh, a Handlock a priority, which I have never. Um, so you know, something like that is a card that has never been in my top, but it's more like my secondary. And I'm finally able to start just crafting what I want for fun because I already have what I need, really. And that's that's kind of cool to get to that point um, where I'm like, oh, I have this dust sitting around and I don't have anything I desperately want to spend it on. Like, that's kind of a cool place to be in. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Okay. Well, well, Twitter, we had a Twitter tweet. Yeah. So this week I looked on the Twitter and it uh, didn't take me long to find a, a cool tweet. Um, Brad says... Love your guys' podcast. I recently started listening. I've been trying to meet new people to play with, but don't have many people. <laughs> Brad, I was there. That was me. I had one friend, and um, it was Rez. And uh, I, <laughs> I didn't forgot know what to you do. used to say that all the time. That's right. <laughs> all the time. Yeah. My, so my, my one friend, friend Rez. <laughs> that's right. So my one friend, uh, Rez, and I were playing Hearthstone. And uh, so I used to play the Hearthstone just basically solo. And then I, you know, Rez and I started playing. And uh, then I started on the podcast. And Rez was still my only friend for at least 10 episodes. <laughs> and then I uh, found more friends and right. made this awesome community. And Brad, you are now part of the community. I, uh, I think I replied like to, to your... I know. I think I replied to your tweet. No, I know I replied to your tweet, and I put my battle tag in there. So you are more than welcome to add me, and I will be your second friend. Um, and already the Twitch chat is asking for your battle tag, Brad, so that they can add you as a friend. So come join there us on Thursday and share. There we go. <laughs> All right. And then our Facebook shout-out for this week is, uh, is a shout-out to Jamie. He says, is Lord Walker Cho more friend or more foe? LOL. Seriously. No, I'm just kidding. No, I mean it. <laughs> um, <laughs> fine. Yeah, so I thought this was really cool. It uh, obviously is about a, a real card in the game, Laura Walker Cho. Um, but, you know, he's he's wondering, well, you know, is, is Laura Walker Cho legit or is he just like trolling me? Like, what's going on? Um, first comment was, 
friend if you have board control, otherwise foe. I've had some games where it came out of a piloted shredder for the other player, and it won me the game. And then another comment is 100% friendly foe. If you'll, uh, don't think about that too hard. You'll hurt your brain. Yeah. And then um, third comment was, Lord Walker chose my favorite card to bring to a constructed brawl. So, so shout out to Jamie. Thanks for uh, posting that question on our Patreon Facebook page. If you too would like to join our face Patreon uh, Facebook page, you uh, donate to Patreon. And we will add you to the Facebook community where you can um, jump in there and say lots of cool stuff with lots of very, very cool people who enjoy this uh, pretty cool podcast. And I do have to mention that uh, it was brought out this week that somebody was asking if we were ever going to run a community tournament. And it was quickly reminded that, yes, we plan on doing that as soon as we hit $200 in support on the uh, Patreon page. so And we were just shy by like 36 bucks. So if you want to help push us over that, we would definitely love to do that and do the community brawl. We'll call it computer community brawl if you want or something like that. But that's what we're looking to do at some point. So anyway, I think that about wraps us up here. Um, be sure to watch the streams that's going on with the upcoming BlizzCon. Next week we plan to cover... BlizzCon before it happens. You know, a little bit. We'll talk about what happened on Thursday, if anything at all of interest to the community. Unfortunately, we'll talk about Hearthstone until Friday, so we'll have to cover it the following week. But we will bring our predictions. And if you want to send in a prediction, you can do so at legendoftheinkeeper.com. You can send it through a comment on the show notes for this show, or you can also send it to info at legendoftheinkeeper.com, or tweet us at LOTI Podcast. Sorry, at LOTI Podcast. Make sure you send a happy birthday greeting to at Arianwin HS saying happy birthday, Espo. No. I mean, I'm sorry, at XCMTB Gamer. Happy yeah, birthday, this is Espo, payback, on Tuesday. So you have to tweet Espo, not me. <laughs> and don't forget to watch Dragon Rider stream. It's on <laughs> twitch.tv, Dragon Rider DK. She streams with us as kind of a part of our team on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday mornings. And so you'll be able to check that out. And if you want to support us at patreon.com slash legend of the innkeeper. So don't forget, we will be going on Google Play's podcast listing as soon as that goes live. And when it does, make sure to go out and put a review out there for us. We'd really appreciate that. So until next week, BlizzCon time, we will talk with you guys later. Good job, team. I was waiting for it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah so I look at Twitch chat. <laughs> Look at Twitch. Okay, hold on. Um, so I forgot to mention that the uh, North Carolina Teachers Art Teachers State Conference starts next Thursday morning. <clears throat> oh. Yeah. It's like, really? Are you kidding me? So, in other words, no BlizzCon for me. So, Are you going to yeah. be able to do the show? Oh, no. I'll be in Asheville, like, arting it up. Like, it starts, it starts Thursday morning. It ends... Oh, so you won't be night? here next Thursday at all? No. Uh, okay, and I, so. just, I just thought about that. I was like, oh, oh my okay. God. That's right. <laughs> so, <laughs> Anybody yeah. in chat want to come on the show? <laughs> <laughs> I think you guys need to get John. You, you need to get Cult Classic. He, uh, he's, I agree. he's a cool guy. Yeah. So. John, what, what does chat. it say? Hold on. What? Okay, let me, hold on. Let me get in, in Twitch chat here. Are available I, next Thursday, John? I see. He, he left. He says he has to go. No, keep reading. Come on, Carmack Cavalry on your birthday. We're, oh, I, I should. I should. A virtual cake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. That, that would be cool because... Um, you can do it. Yes. Okay. Yeah, on. I'll go I'll go ahead and I'll be on um, Cardback on Tuesday. And then... Uh, <laughs> we'll just well, trade shows. I was going to say, we'll just trade the shows. Right? <laughs> and how about this? Okay, so I was listening to a podcast. Obviously, I listen to all, all the Hearthstone podcasts. Um, and uh, I really feel bad for Cult Classic because they hacked his name. They were like C V T T C L V T And I'm like, seriously? <laughs> like it's it's not that hard it's cold classic i was like oh like it, it was one of those times when i was i was yelling at my radio 
it's called classic. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> but fake fake Espo says when LOTI calls and Espo falls, I must grow a beard and do my best American accent. <laughs> Uh, so, um, fake, fake Espo made a Twitter, uh, profile and he, one mistake, one mistake. He posted a screenshot and it has his, it has his, so fake, fake Espo, quick, go delete that screenshot that you posted a couple weeks ago. Before everyone figures out. So I don't know, like, I know who it is, but, um, you guys, you guys, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. His face. No, he doesn't. He didn't. But it's a screenshot of his game, and of course, his his battle tagger is uh screen name is on the screen. So yeah. Yeah. I'm oh, there's, ladies and gentlemen, my beautiful wife is waving at me. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Have you finished da yet? Daz wants to know if we're opening a few packs. I, I have three to open. Cannot. Wow. Yeah. yeah. No like Overwatch beta that. for me. No Overwatch beta for me. Oh, no. yeah. There is a challenge out there on whether or not who's got who's going to get it. So uh, hold on, everyone. One second. We're getting there. So far on the poll, I'm supposed to be the one who gets it first. Okay. It's not pretty, but it's up there. Okay, I'm going to open the classic pack first. Stormforge Axe. Whoa, legendary! Whoa, what is it? Blood, Blood Mage, Mage Stalmos. Stalmos. You don't have one. Espo! Espo? Where is Espo? Did he get dropped? He got dropped. Wait, he's coming back. I'll Maybe. Wait. I don't know. I'll just open the other card. Oh, you know, his, his wife came in the room. Sorcerer's Apprentice. Wisp. <laughs> I just don't close this one yet. And Pint Size Summoner. Figures that you'd walk away right there. <laughs> Yay! It does happen. People, she actually does open one. Oh, we did lose them. Wow. Oh, well, we'll tell them. I'll open the other packs. That's insane. Congratulations. We'll like, I swear you missed it. She opened a legendary, and he'll be like, ha ha, yeah, right. <laughs> or we're like, ha ha, no, really. <laughs> no, really. Really. <laughs> uh, ancestral Knowledge. Shadow Pan Rider. Tournament Attendee. Buccaneer. And Tiny Knight of Evil. Hey, we talked about him tonight. Yeah. What? The legendary! What? <laughs> I already have this guy. Oh, I can't <laughs> believe you got two of them on one show. Pit Fighter. Bolster. Oh, a purple. Master of Ceremonies. <laughs> Sparring partner. Wow. I guess I was due. His internet <laughs> broke, he said. You oh, I got text him. him. Oh, he, it's okay. She only got two legendaries and see what he says. Yeah, let's see what he says. Okay. <laughs> That's okay. Ari opened two legendaries. <laughs> Dairies. Say ha ha. So that he doesn't <clears throat> <the> joke. <laughs> He's gonna respond back. But yeah, that's funny. Ha ha. Wait, he's right. coming back. Okay, I apologize. My uh, my wife came home and she was like, "Hey, the Wi-Fi's on." Because usually I turn the Wi-Fi off while we're podcasting. Right. And it was it was on, so she was like, "Oh, they must not be podcasting." So she got on and down went the internet. <laughs> oh boy! Uh, we can, check your text message I just sent you. I yeah, we can only we can only do one thing at a time in our house on the internet. So as you can see, when we do 
two devices. If we have two devices on, then that's it. No devices. <laughs> Yep. It's 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 disheartening. Read it your is. text. It says, "Wow, dude, what'd you get?" Um. Okay, I got Blood Mage Thalmos. Nice, nice. And... What was this? Edric the Pure. <laughs> Again. <laughs> Again. So you, you believed her. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that's ridiculous. That's like the eighth Edric the Pure. I got 480 uh, dust. There you go. You can do it. Now you can get your Molten Giant, and then you can uh, use your other dust to make your two Dread Steeds. Dude, she opened two Legendaries opened two. out of three packs. While you were gone, of course. <laughs> you guys, I just got a tweet. Oh, jeez. Fake, it fake, yes, fake. Starting. Yeah, fake, fake Espo. You got to be careful, dude. Putting your personal information out on the internet like that. Good thing, good thing the real Espo is watching out for you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how funny. Okay, so now I'm going to open two packs real quick. I think that's a good idea. Okay, first pack. I also got a whisk. Espo, you need to lose your internet connection real quick. I need some legendaries. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? It's, I'm gone, so you get some legendaries. <laughs> okay, two rares. I got Druid of the Saber, Dragonhawk Rider, Silent Knight, and Draenei Totem Carver, and Light's Champion. So we got Silent Knight and Light's Champion. Then the other pack is... A rare, and that's it. Okay. Lowly Squire, great. Orgamar Aspirant. Aspirant, Warhorse Trainer, Frigid Snowbold, and Convert. You mean Convert. Exactly. I was just going to say, I was thinking, <laughs> I'm thinking, does he mean Convert? <laughs> I did that on purpose. <laughs> uh, nice. Every time, anytime someone says it one way, I'm just going to be like, you mean the other one. <laughs> hey, uh, cult classic. Um, Send me a message or get a hold of me somehow, and uh, I'll give you my my phone number so you can text me on Tuesday, and we can we can figure out what we're gonna do because uh, I'd like to help you guys out, and then you can uh, jump on in with my favorite people here on uh, Legend of the Innkeeper. That'll be cool. While I'm doing the art. Sounds good. Oops! There's that train again. <laughs> That's awesome. I liked the helicopter earlier. That was spectacular. <laughs> yeah. I was like, I was like, whoa, it's a helicopter. <laughs> I think I typed it in, in Skype chat. Yeah, you did. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Yeah. Classic. I, I tried to mute it. Uh -huh. Okay, so I am thinking about what legendary I'm going to craft next. I own, I right now I have 1100 dust and I crafted a molten giant. So I'm going to save the rest of my dust for a legendary. Um, I'm thinking I might craft Justicar. Yeah, Justicar Trueheart. I was talking to Rez last night and we were wondering, you know, what's our next legendary? And, um, we're about even on Legendaries, Res and I, and I was like, dude, I think I'm going to do Justicar. Fun and value. I mean, she's yeah. pretty stout. They actually played her in the tournament, and I was like, oh, that's cool. Yeah, she's she's in a couple different decks. Um, I've seen her played in Warrior, where she gives four armor, which is ridiculous. Yeah. Yep. I could craft like <clears throat> Draxis or something. I don't know. You know what the card I'm I'm hoping to get from a pack one day, or I might even craft it, I don't know, is the uh legendary for priest. Uh Avi no not Aviana. Um It's Countess Yeah, Countess What? Palpatine. How about Confessor Paltris? Confessor Paltris, that's it, yeah. <laughs> I'm not even paying attention, and I, 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 just, I have her, and I can't even remember the name. 
You have her? Yeah. You should use her. Play her pre stack with that thing, man. That one yeah. love that card. You wanna you wanna play it and try well, it? I want it? Yeah, you I'll wanna take play it. it on my and account. You give it to me? On my account. Do you wanna try it? Maybe so. Or play against me. I have a thief priest. Here, let's let's go right now. A thief priest. Yep. Thief priest with her in it. Let's go. <laughs> How am I supposed to steal it? <laughs> oh, you're gonna no, pl- oh, You yeah. play a thief priest too. And we play a gimmicky you- game. And then we both get as many copies of her as possible. But what if you I don't get a copy of it? Re- Rez and I, Rez and I did that. Face. We you got confessed with Beltrances all night. It was awesome. Yeah, so you put a couple faceless in there, some mind control, you'll get her. Challenge me when you're ready. Okay, so um, Confessor Peltris for the win. Not, uh, how come? How come the priest looks like a mage? <laughs> um, <laughs> are just, you wearing I, your automa- glasses? No, it's automatic. I go straight to the pre the mage button and hit the mage. I'm like, oh, wrong one. Sorry. <laughs> Whoops. All right, let me. See okay, here. let me get all my steel cards first. No one is online. No one. No, I haven't. I've been I've been slack with YouTube lately. I haven't been catching up. You know one card that I hate to see played by priests right now. Yeah, okay. Holy champion. Yeah. I hate seeing that card come out. Oh. Any other cards that steal other than faceless that are not priests? Aspo? What? Oh, oh, what? Any, uh, any other cards that steal that are not? Oh, Sylvanas. Yeah, you gotta have Sylvanas. Um, I have two faceless. Okay. Yeah. Um, do you have Shadow? Shadow Madness. Yeah. Shadow Madness and the uh, little guy. Mind games. Sh- shrink Mind. Meister. Um, vision. Mind vision. Yeah, Res and I've played Convert. games where it's all legendary. Convert. Yeah, we got that. Um, Chromagus for fun. Mind control. Shadow Fiend, Emperor T, maybe. Dot Steel. Mind Vision. Deathwing. Yep. And then <laughs> other, Deathwing. other legendaries that you find fun? Oh, yeah, I'm putting all kinds of legendaries in here. Okay. Okay, let me go back to the priest cards and make sure I got all the good stuff. Yeah, my control tech. Got a few of them. <clears throat> Don't know if this is going to be any good or not, but we'll... Uh, well, mine is not good either. Are you ready? Working on it. You canceled the challenge. I didn't. I hit challenge. Except mine. There we go. Okay. Okay, it's on the uh, screen, too. For Did you select the correct deck? It's yes, a priest, I did. not a mate. <laughs> okay. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he's the one who doesn't hit record. It's the one that says Casino it. Priest, right? <laughs> hey, uh, let me see. Let me see if I can. He's trying to post the link, and it won't let him. How do we? Yoo-hoo. Oh, Dad. In oh, I turned chat. it off. I turned off Twitch chat's link posting ability. Can you try Oh, okay. Yeah, he's he's wanting to post a link. Who's that? Ostico? Yeah, yeah. Tweeted that spoon. We did, I just turned off links so that we didn't have spam coming through because most of the time we don't put right. links in there. Yeah, tw- tweeted at me and I'll go ahead and I'll put it in there. I apologize. <clears throat> yeah, admins can do it, but non-admins cannot. Heal that priestess.
just a little bit here. I'm getting absolutely nothing here. Yay! Ooh. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> Ooh is not a good thing. Hey, great! How many fingers do you see? <gasps> what? You're not supposed to put great cards in. Well, I remember I said I don't like this card. It makes me angry. And you don't want to see me when I'm angry. <laughs> oh, jeez. The, the light shall burn you. Well, it's burning me. Don't worry, I won't kill you. All right, so we're looking. I'm guessing it's uh, Kibler's Effigy Madness. Is that what you want me to link? Yeah. There. Okay. I didn't want that to go away. <laughs> gotcha. Whoa. Whoa, what? Um, Brian Kibler. He's. I don't know. I, I can't. He's kind of annoying. <laughs> 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 uh, nah, I'll be he's a good guy. <laughs> right, I'm pretty sure that's the that's it right there. Yeah, there we go. Okay. All right, that's enough of that. So that that chick is that chick is awesome. The holy champion can't stand her. Oh, she's incredible. I know it's annoying. Yeah. So Vastidious um, has the one card that's awesome, but he loses it. Huh? Oh, on the board, you mean? Yeah, yeah. Okay. There you go. Oh, he puts the boom on the board. You bring the boom. Now, Ariana, this is your chance to steal the boom. You have to figure out how to steal it, copy it, um, kill it. That way you have the boom and he doesn't. That was not the right play. <laughs> <laughs> I don't that want was, it. I want that something was, better. You want something? Okay. All right. Touche. Touche. <laughs> That's a little better, didn't you? <laughs> a little better. Oh. oh, good, got rid of her. Hopefully I don't kill you. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's a battle to legendaries. Ah, oh, okay. <laughs> Give me that. Of course. <laughs> uh -oh. All right, here we go. Hurry on, when you know the play. You got this. You thought you which, did last time. Which one? What do you mean which one? It's 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 evident. Which one? Because that one's gonna kill me. Yeah, there you go. This you one? You got it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you got this. Okay. 
There you go. Alright, that's that's it. You got it. You got it. <laughs> Give me back. Seriously. Okay. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. We still got this, Ariana. We still got okay, this. Okay, you need to get rid of that rag, Dad. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> you have to. I can't. We, we still got this. <clears throat> okay, fine. No. We, we we can't lose this. No more Ragnaroses. They're okay. not allowed. Okay, fine, 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 fine. You're not yes. Supposed to <laughs> what? Yes, that's how. We, ooh, Edwin. The Edwin. The Edwin. Uh, I got rid of so many good cards, you know. Just to there do that it is. For you. Sneeds old shredder. Perfect. Oh, oh no. Okay, good, good. I was going to say, she's going to summon Ragnaros back. Yeah, Ooh. Um, okay. So we're spitting some acid? Or is that. That's, that's Dread Scale. Yeah, that's dread skill. We're doing one damage. Lapdogs, I approve. All of you. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. Here we go. Yay. All right. This is going to be legit. All right. Here we go. Here we go. It is. Edwin's Van Gleef! <laughs> Ariana's favorite Your legendary! Favorite one. Yeah! Her favorite legendary. Okay, I'm putting a random card into my hand. Uh oh. Uh oh. Mind Division. Here it is. Priest. Ooh. Ooh. And you get two cards out of it. Oh. Hopefully, it's one that copies a minion. <sighs> They are both playable cards. <clears throat> By the way, I do like the golden uh, Nefarian. Yeah, he's cool, huh? It's got the endless flame going. Definitely. Oops, I forgot to inspire. <laughs> oh man, that was that was bad. Wow, look at that. I won't attack. That's uh, that's interesting. That's that's gonna happen. That's gonna be fun. Got another mind vision. Oh, oh. And then, resurrect. Uh oh. Okay. How many fingers do you see? Oh wow. <clears throat> Just keep the fun going. Kraska. <laughs> nice. Oh, I can't play it. Okay, I have to play. Oh, I can't play that either. Getting to the point where we can't play. Don't forget the heal. Yeah. Uh oh. No, oh, thank you. Whoops. <laughs> you know you can't attack with those, right? Ooh, interesting. Bravo. Oh, oh snap! <laughs> oh snap! That's awesome. That's awesome. I like it. Okay. I don't want more Drum of those cards. We'll play this one. Ah, oh, yours isn't golden. Oh wow! I have three mind controls in my hand. Ah, <sighs> I really don't have anything I can play, except for this. Just don't kill off my guys. Interesting. Okay, first <clears> off, <throat> bit of this. 
Well, at the same time, we're going to see how high we can get the uh, Holy Champion Twins. I can wait <laughs> all day. No, you're supposed to leave them. Yeah, I Whoops. can leave one. Well, he'll come back. <laughs> oh, that's right. You're right. But it won't come back with the 11 attack. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna burn a card if I don't play. Engaging TC-130, mental dislocator. Oh, actually worked. Well, those eight mind controls in your hand will help. <laughs> <laughs> but I can only play one a turn. Give me that. Oh, jeez, it's ten o'clock. Oh, you're getting the evil eye? Yeah. She has to... She has to do a little bit of work on the internet before she goes to bed. <clears throat> okay. Alright. So, cool. I gotta... I gotta head out. No but, uh, worries. I think tonight was a great episode, hopefully. Everybody enjoyed themselves. Oh, yeah, you needed that too, Ariana, and that stinks. I'm going to... Alright. I'm gonna head out. You guys All right. Have to... Yeah. Bye, no, Espo. All right, we'll see you guys. Good night. Good night. Ooh, this is not looking good. Gallywix. <laughs> I need to get card out of my hand. Uh oh, you can't trigger her anymore, can you? Yes, I can. It's inspire. Well, finally. Yeah. What do I get? My dream and the world trend. Yes, Sarah. Nice. Oh, goodness. Okay, I'm going to clear some board space. Just kill uh, the Cormagus. I don't want double of anything anymore. Well, I have to do Does her. This hurt? Because, um. <clears throat> yeah. And I need to kill. Don't kill Kelduzad. I'll take a copy of him next turn. Okay. How many fingers do you see? See you later, Nightfall. Good night. Oh, I don't want you, Sarah. <laughs> I just realized Sarah's going to fill my hands with a... Uh... Oops, I forgot it's not a copy. I just took yours. Yeah. That's okay. I don't want to refill my board with stuff anyways. Oops, sir. Uh, well, oh well. No, that was fine. Okay. Do this first. You can kill your holy champions now to make room and they won't come back. True. Let's negotiate. You can see. Ah. Random spell to my hand. This Ooh. Leave Gallywick then. Well, I mean, you can kill him and he'll come back, but don't kill KT. Gonna resurrect. Where's my cat? Hopefully not Ragnar. How many fingers do you see? <laughs> Again. Hi. <laughs> here's a card you can run against and destroy. <laughs> Leroy Jenkins. Leroy Jenkins. Okay. Yeah, kill the uh, Drake. Emerald Drake with Leroy. Why? Because it's gonna be a card slot if you want. I'll have to. 
locate her. You know those are gonna come back. Oh my goodness, really? I should have killed the thing next turn. Which so thing? I, the Emerald Drake. So that I could have, um... You can kill Kel'Thuzad. Yeah. My cat? Okay, that works. A new acquisition. <laughs> I, I can't use this, unfortunately. Mass dispel. Silence all enemy minions. Oh no. <laughs> no, you don't want me to use that? Mm -mm. <laughs> Not really. Uh, Let me help you out here. <laughs> oh, oh no, I got that, not I the leopard. No. <laughs> I got I got thermoplug. I didn't see that. <laughs> okay, end your turn. End your turn. Yeah, I got Ragnaros. Hopefully these leopard gnomes don't kill me. I'm gonna have to kill that guy. Yeah, you can kill him. Oh good. My cards need to be cheaper. Oopsie, I didn't mean to attack that one. <laughs> oh, I wanted that one. I'm sorry! He was giving me spells. I didn't mean to. Oops, I didn't mean to kill that one either. Well, he'll come back. Um. Well, play Kel'Thuzad if you can. Well, that uh, what will that bring back for me? Everything. But I don't want them back. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Double Moger ah. and Toshley. No, I needed that. Okay, I think I'm pretty much going to end the game here. Oh, let me have one more round. Okay. Um. I wonder. I bring life. Spot. <laughs> Pink Rush. Pink kill. Nice. Ashley. Oh! <laughs> Forgot about Moger. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> the Alex Straza I played was actually yours. 
<laughs> I'm not surprised. Mm -hmm. Almost out of cards. <clears throat> okay. Oh, let random have it, eh? Two legendaries, not bad at all. With my cat, oh, let's see here. Gave it to me. Gave what to you? Uh, Master Spell. Oh, it gave you a copy of it? Yeah. I'm out of cards. <clears throat> Very cool. Well, unfortunately, she's so unexpected. You don't know when she's going to get what and what you're going to get out of it. And she costs seven, so it's kind of expensive to play. Yeah, but it's still a fun card. Yeah. Okay, well, we will shut things down here at this point and uh, let you guys go. We appreciate you hanging out with us in stream, if there's anybody left out there. But uh, we will chat with you guys later. So thanks for hanging out. And we'll see.